Time to play with some clay. All right, I must go to the foundry tomorrow because Friday they'll be closed and I need to dro drop off the bronze of uh, True Wealth and uh, this clay and uh, the clay of the Christ that I created to get bids on this clay and that clay as well. And so I'm going to I put this back down on the level uh, board because I need to uh, get some things sketched in real quick that will be on the finished product so that they have a better idea of what to uh, charge me to reproduce this in bronze. Now many of you ask do you fire these uh, clays and I must tell you I don't because they are uh, an oil-based clay and you would have a big pile of or a big puddle of melted clay where the where the statue once stood if I did that so what they do at the foundry is they make a latex rubber mold of the original clay and then they uh ah, I'm tired been busy today uh, and then what they do is they uh make a wax copy from that rubber mold and then they make a uh ceramic mold of the uh wax and uh oh wait a minute okay it goes from a positive which this is to a negative which a rubber mold is to a positive which is a wax uh, copy of this which it looks like this except it's hollow taken out of the rubber mold to a negative which would be a ceramic mold made of the uh, wax you melt the wax out of the ceramic mold, and then you make a positive uh, casting in bronze uh, in the ceramic mold. So it goes from a positive to a negative to a positive to a negative to a positive. And uh, yeah, it's involved. And that's why bronzes are so expensive, because there's a lot of money involved in doing all that. Now somebody suggested last night in on my video that I put uh, his uh, powder horn and uh, shot pouch in his hand. Well, which hand do I do it in? Uh, the hand that's under the robe and behind the shield or the hand that's uh, right next to her arm and that would hang down off the horse's uh, rear end, which I don't think it looked really cool. So I'm going to put the uh, gear on him. Uh, I thought about it. That was a good idea and a good suggestion, but uh, only if I changed his arm positions. All right, the first thing I need to do is clean off my cutting board of uh, clay that's been left there by rolling and stuff like that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of lighter fluid. If I can find my lighter fluid, there it is. lighter fluid uh, will melt the uh, residue of the clay and uh, will make the uh, board a little bit more non-stick. <laughs>
I'm making straps. For the shield and the uh, pouch, as well as the powder horn. I'm going to put those aside. I screwed up that edge, so I'm going to recut it. All right, I'm going to come back. When I get into it and get away from uh, doing this, in a couple minutes. Okay, I've added a pack, uh, shot pouch to his side, and I've put a uh, small uh, set of tacks. As a design on his uh, the flap that uh, is on the uh, pouch. Now I'm going to wad of uh, clay over his hand so that I can solidify the connection to the uh, shield which I put a pattern on and I'll fill in underneath here now this is going to cost money to reproduce this one but uh, I don't see any other way of doing it. I'm going to put the uh, strap for the shield.
you're going to have to fabricate that uh, or cast that uh, unless I can figure out a way of filling it in so they can just make a mold around it but I don't know how I can do that I can fill in underneath here, but I can't fill under under here where it uh, extends out. So I gotta work that out somehow because that little piece is gonna have to be cast separate and then welded on or soldered on. All right, I've added the uh, powder horn. And I'm going to try to curve it just a little bit more so that uh, it's more against his body so that it won't be a big string hanging out there. One's going to have to hang out here, but it won't. I don't have to necessarily have it hanging out in front. So, and I'm going to put more detail in that powder horn at a distant future point once I... Uh, sell one and I can actually put some time into putting detail in the horn that won't increase the value or the the price of the uh, the bronze but uh, it will certainly uh, save money by having a strap that uh, goes around his neck and to the powder horn and it is right up against his body all right this is uh his scalp lock back here and uh down to his uh powder horn and pouch which i've added on today now i'm going to be working on her hand next time i work on this and uh just showing you the uh, shield, the design on it. And I've got work to do on the legs of the horse to finish him off. And I'm going to redo that head a little bit. But uh, basically, this is it. And uh, I'm happy with it. I think there's... Oh, and i got to do the rifle, which I'm going to do right now. Well, I'm just going to place it in there, and, and I'll tell them what it's going to be like. I'm not going to don't have time to do that tonight and I'll have to do that next time just wanted to show you how I've got the uh, two clays in the back of the van for transport tomorrow I've uh, screwed both boards down to the the big board and that will keep them from flipping around and sliding around in the back and protect them all right I'll pick this up uh, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, but I'll probably see you next week. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.